Hey man, you already know what it is. Boy, Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions, the Dank Daddy from the Dank TV. Who I got with me on the Dank TV, man? You got your boy NFL stand straight from right here in my old project, Timber Skin, man. Okay, okay, brother. What you got going on out here in these streets? Man, right now I just dropped an album called Vacation on Christmas Eve, a little Christmas gift. You know what I'm talking about? I just came back from ATL. I just had a show out there, so I'm feeling good. Oh, shit, we're blessing. Okay. So, how was your experience out there in ATL? ATL, man, they got hella black love over there. You feel what I'm talking about? I love that shit when all black people come together. I love that. You mean, we got ourselves. That's all we got. So, I love how they show the young brother love, even though I'm out the city. But I had fun at my show and shit. Shit was cool, man. Very cordial. Okay, okay. So, did you go out there in like a group or you just went out there solo? I went out with my big cousin. Shout out to my big cousin Daniel on the west side, you know what I'm saying? He living on Mercy, surviving and shit. But yeah, I went with my cousin, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like a big group around me. Yo. You feel me? I don't want to intimidate nobody, but nobody going to intimidate me. So, you know Fact. what I'm saying? I just keep it cordial, keep it cool. Yeah, yeah. So, about that project, you got any features on that um project you just dropped? Nah, I ain't put no features on it. It's a little love album, you know what I'm saying? I want to show the latest my love for them. So, I ain't put no niggas on it, you know what I'm talking about? I did it solo, you know what I'm saying? Talk to my little ladies and shit, you know what I'm talking about? So, yeah. Okay, okay. She was cool. Yeah. So, do you got, like, anything coming up for, like, you know, um, any bangers, any club bangers? Cause I know you, you um, was for the ladies this time. You got some for the streets, you know, for the niggas to turn up and bang out to oh, you. Feel me? Yeah, I always got something for everybody. I'm very versatile with it. I'm always gonna drop for the streets. I'm always gonna drop for the ladies. I'm always gonna drop for white people. I'm trying to go international with this shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be versatile. Mainstream. So, yeah, mainstream. You know what I'm talking about? I'm about really what I'm trying to do is make sure kids in the hood know that there's somebody looking out for them. 100%. You know what I'm saying? Even though I made it out, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I know a lot of people going to look at up to somebody that can actually speak to them. Because a lot of these artists, they made it out the hood, but they forget where they come from. Right. Once they meet the industry, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get the promise. N niggas hit my DM when I'm famous, I'm going to hit you back. Period, bro. So yeah. I, the same way I'm trying to make it out, you want to make it out. So why not help everybody? You know what I'm saying? Make the hood a better place. Yeah, yeah. Turn the hood to the good. That right. Way. Facts. Big facts. So where you from? I'm from, I'm originally from Michigan. You know what I'm talking about? But I claim Florida. I've been here since I was four. So I claim Florida. Florida in my heart forever. Florida got my swag, my style. So yeah. Yeah. You can tell. So what? what's your favorite thing about living in Florida? My favorite thing about living in Florida? If I'm being real honest with you, bro, probably like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people say beaches or the females and all that. I ain't gonna lie, I be trees. Yeah, the trees. Shade. I like the shade. We under the shade. We, That's we, a we right now, you feel me? Like, all our trees got leaves on it. Some places they ain't got no damn leaves on it. I be looking at shit like that. I be thinking deep, but like, yeah, I yeah. Like trees hard. Like, palm tree over there, right? There. Even in the projects, she got palm trees, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, you got any shows coming up? Shows? Damn. That's a good question. Uh, I heard I was supposed to go to the sound bar January 17th. I'm still thinking about it and shit, though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm really focused in on getting music videos out. That's why I'm with my boy Cheeseburger on the interview. I'm finna get some videos gang, out with my Cheeseburger. Yes, Shout out sir. to him for giving me this interview all. So, yeah, you know. yeah. So, like, what can these people expect from you in these upcoming months? Because I know you got a lot going on. Yeah, yeah. So, 2021. That one was not that year. <laughs> Yeah, come in. <laughs> no, <I'm talking> about <laughs> Interview over. Oh God, cut. 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 cut Almost ended that shit, but yeah, what? <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Anyway, um, you said what my guy coming up in 2021. All right, 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let it be natural. Whatever it comes up, comes up. You feel what I'm talking? About? I ain't gonna force none. God blessing me. You know what I'm saying? Every time God bless me, I'm gonna use the tissue. So whatever comes up, comes up. That part. Okay, okay. So, like, if you was to start a label in the O, who would you sign? Like, artist around Orlando? Yeah. Okay, artist around Orlando, I'll instantly, instantly slot, sign my boy um, Cam. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I got to sign him. There's a couple other artists. I'll sign my nigga Dante. I'll go ahead and sign um. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of flavor on the east side. Even though I'm on yeah. the east side, there's a lot of flavor. Niggas just don't listen to them because, you know, west side, the main part. Shout out to the west side, Orlando rappers. You know what I'm saying? Y'all doing y'all thing. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I saw some of the niggas on the east side, so east side can get poppy. You feel me? That's right. where I'm at right now, so that's what I'm trying to get poppy. But shout out to west side because we all a whole at the end of the day. So, yeah, yeah. Part. 
So you say you the king of the east side. Why you say you the king of the east side? Nah, I say I'm the king of the east side because I'm the king of the east side. You feel me? You live on the west side and you a nigga and you feel like you got it like that. You're going to say you're the king of the west side. So I'm going to say I live on the east side. I'm going to say I'm the king of the east side. And a lot of niggas can feel like that, but I feel like I am. If they say it, that's cool, but. That's how you feeling? Hey, it's up there. Okay, you know, okay. So what's the difference between East Orlando and West Orlando? I think the difference between East Orlando and um, West Orlando, I'm going to tell you right now, straight up, bro, is love. It's love, bro. On the west side, everybody support. If somebody rapping, they gonna support. Their homeboys gonna support, support, cause they actually live in the hood. You feel me? They trying to make it out the hood, so all their brothers gonna support. On the east side, niggas is really envious. On the east side, nobody really supporting the nigga. You feel me? Like they don't really support like that. But it's cool though. You feel what I'm talking about? I still got people's supporting me, but it's not like on the west side. If I was on the west side and I was rapping, I know like the whole city would be jumping. You yeah. feel me? The whole city would be jumping behind me because out here. It's where the hood at, so I know the hood's gonna cater to whoever from their hood. You feel what I'm talking about? So mm -hmm. that's just the difference, honestly. Yeah, yeah. If you could live on any part of Orlando, you can live in any part in Orlando, where would you live? Like, your most, like, all right, but I gotta live in that part of Orlando. Where would you live? Suburbs. 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 I always want to be a suburb skin, like Kodak said. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, like in a Paca area? Yeah, I would want to be in the I suburbs. I ain't gonna lie, it ain't living good out there, you feel me? Robinson Hill, you feel me? Big ass house. Ian Campbell suit, them niggas in short. Chef Boy, I did yeah. that. You feel me? It's a difference. You know what I'm talking about? Them niggas being good. So I say suburbs. Yeah. That part. Yeah, that's that shit. That's what we gotta work to. We gotta get out the hood, get to the suburbs. Hundred percent, but the place I do want to stay at is Canada. I'm going to Canada. So it's oh like yeah, bands. Canada, booyah, I'm out of here. Hell uh, yeah. Canada. So when once you get to Canada, mm -hmm. like you think once you get over there, your rapping style might change because they might, they rap over there a little bit different. You know, they got a different flavor over mm -hmm. there. Um, if your rapper change because you're setting, that means you wasn't really rapping. Hmm. You feel what I'm talking about? I yeah. feel like you are who you are. You're supposed to paint a picture in music. So the way you rap, how I started rapping, that's how I'm going to finish rapping when I die. You feel what I'm saying? Because yeah. this is who I am. But if you change because you're sitting, that means you wasn't really rapping how you really rap. You were just talking. You feel what I'm talking about? So no, Candy will not change my flavor at all. At all. Fact. But they're going to like my flavor too. Yeah. That part. The sauce, all that. Sauce, drip, <laughs> swag, style. All that. All that, man. That part. Hell yeah, so you got some bars for the people? Bars right now, freestyle? Yeah, a little 16. A little 16. Damn, you really said 16, I'll give you eight. Hey, all right, eight. something. You know. <clears throat> Dang. Hmm. Ah, I said that. You, beatbox. You know the beatbox? I mean, shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'm cooling in my projects. I call this shit timber skin. <laughs> Timber skin nigga, where we never win, but we gon' have to win because I can never sin. I'm running with my lady, she in my Benjamin. She said she like me, baby. She got my Franklin. I told my lady, uh, uh, I got my ankle in. I'm staying in Christmas right now with my redness, got them acres on. I told my lady that I love her, but I can't play this song. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, you fun on that video. Hell yeah, you killed that shit though. <laughs> hey, appreciate you for blessing. Lesson us with them bars, you feel me? Hell yeah, that was that was rare. I don't even rarely beatbox on that bitch, but I was, I was beating that box that today, bitch. Beat. Shit, beating that box. <laughs> beating that box, nigga. <laughs> 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 you feel me? Back up reversing that bitch, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Like, man. Hell yeah. So what we can find you at all your streaming platforms streaming and everything, platform, everything like that. Look. YouTube, NFL stand, Instagram, never forget loyalty stand. Anything that got to do with NFL, either it's NFL stand or never forget loyalty stand. That's where you gonna find it. At, so, yeah, 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 bro. You feel me? So you already know what it is. It's your boy Cheeseburger from Cheeseburger Productions, the Dank Daddy from the Dank TV. Who I got with me again on the Dank TV? Yeah, NFL stand, never forget loyalty stand. Breaking in, kicking in, crank kid. Know that Z's up till I freeze up, nigga. Know that. We out there, bitch. Game. <laughs>